All right, three tools for youth pitchers to start developing good mechanics or ultimately, you know, heading towards velocity. So I want youth pitchers to understand when you're young, you want to build the foundation for velocity. So when you get older, you have the foundation to start pushing for more velocity. Just because when we start throwing harder, we do put ourselves at a higher risk of injury. So if we have a good foundation, and that foundation is going to be built on our anatomy, strength, also good use of movement, we're going to be in a better position to handle the stress later in life or, you know, teenage years and up to starting to challenge ourselves for good velocity. So, you know, I'm going to start with the stride accelerators. The stride accelerators are great um, for all pitchers, but youth pitchers, because youth pitchers don't use their legs well. Once again, they really don't have the strength. So on top of these tools, I'm going to always guide you to our beginner training because it has beginner lifting and beginner drill education. And that's what you need. You really need to start the lifting process young and early. There's too many myths in our country that y young players or young athletes can't start lifting early. That's not true. It's actually very beneficial for them. And I would recommend it. So you should be in a good lifting program like we have with the beginner programs. From there, now we got to teach you how to use your lower half. The Stride Accelerator is a great tool. And, and that's the adult version. Here's the youth version. And it's a smaller version. It's because it gets you to learn to sit. And when you sit on the mound or in flat ground, we can do this both, you start using the, the lower half to propel the energy. If we stand up, we aren't using the lower half, and then we're just trying to create the energy in our upper bodies. And that's where velocities are low and, and stress can be high, especially if you increase your intensities. So it's learning to sit and get low puts you in a position where in a, in a good stride, your shins start to come down. And when the shins start to come down, now the push and the propulsion starts moving you back and forth towards the target, which is what we want. So the stride accelerating, and there's a lot of great videos already here on whatever platform you're on to learn about how this works. Also too, it comes with a full training program. But you know, ideally, the youth pitchers aren't gonna have the height, so they need to give me lower. But this actually could benefit me. Um, but what I learn when I get this low is how tight my hips are in these positions, how much more strength I need to propel out of these lower center of gravities. But ideally, I want to get as low as I possibly can as I develop my ability to throw. So that's when you hear the, the saying, use your lower half, that's what it means to use your lower half, to be able to lower it down. And you're going to learn that out of your leg lift, how to lower down, how to propel the energy from your, through your legs, and then how to funnel that to your upper body. But it really starts with just getting the depth and starting to learn and get some reps of the depth. And that's what I love about these two is because you can throw and do these drills right on them. So I can sit here and literally do my drills right on them, driving through them. And that's why they're so valuable and better than just a stool or bucket. Okay, so highly recommend that as a great start for youth pitcher, comes with our programs. Toplossy.net slash Excel. Then the king of the hill. This is a pretty heavy force plate. And what it does is when I push back against it, it creates a pop. And I want to hear that pop before I land because that's an indication that I propelled into landing, right? I created propulsion into landing. And here's the thing. You want to get better at popping it. You put the stride accelerator in. You get to that depth that it takes the shin to create the sheer force. And you start to pop it. This one's a little tight but you can hear it popping now, all right? So from here, lift and drive, and it's actually a good indication that you're driving well when your stride accelerator pops over. So that's great. You can put the blue spring for youth pitchers on there, not as heavy as the gold spring, and you don't have to crank it up. You can tighten it to make it more challenging, but start where it's just hard enough to get it, and then as they get better at it, you can increase the, the tension and then the challenge to push and drive. So just remember, if you push down with this, nothing happens. It's really about getting linear and pushing back to get the pop. And I want to hear it into landing. I want to hear the pop going into landing indication. I propelled off that pushed my hip through. Then from there, it's learning how to separate and delay. And that goes into the third tool, our med ball throwing. All right, so med balls are great because it's going to help you keep the trunk back which is a key part of delaying like a whip the end of the chain. It's also gonna allow you to go through the same motions with two hands of throwing a baseball and challenge you because of the overload. 
is making your core and trunk work harder, but it's not gonna put the stress on your arm because at two hands, you can't go into an aggressive layback like you do with a baseball. So you're gonna be taking a lot of the torques off the arm, the stress off the arm, and you're gonna be a lot in, getting a lot more challenges in the legs, in the trunk to deliver the ball. So we do them chest up, we do them shoulders closed, right? And we, we throw them from there. You also have, I recommend for the youth, one pound. We use two pound for the older guys. And these can be thrown on the king of the hills, the stride accelerators, all excellent tools developing the kinetic chain. So once again, stride accelerator is gonna help you develop the depth you need to start using your legs better. So topvelocity.net slash excel. The king of the hill is gonna help you understand ground force. Am I getting to the positions? Am I creating the force going into landing off the king of the hill? Topvelocity.net slash KOH. And then med ball training. The med ball training is gonna help me put in the final piece, how the upper body works and the, and the heavier weight teaches me to delay. It teaches me to use more of the trunk than the arm, which is a lot healthier for me. And this is how I make sure a kid is going to, as he develops velocity, he's developing it through a full kinetic chain so it's less stressful. He's not in a program that's just focusing arm, 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 where it's more stressful. And these are just great foundational tools to build youth athletes. Um, but for the med ball stuff, it's gonna be in the beginner training. Go to topvelocity.net, look at the training programs, look at the beginner training, and you'll have all these three things. So those are three key tools for developing youth pitchers for velocity um, as they mature through the game.